I'm Sandy. And I'm Crystal. And, and we're, we're the, the Castro Queens. Queens. And today it's all about our love of the 50s and retro comedies. Lucy. Hello. Hello. And I'm a trusty <laughs> sidekick, Ethel. <laughs> <laughs> One of the things that people of the 50s did was they liked their cocktail. So today we're going to share a really classic 1950s cocktail. It's the grasshopper. And we are making mini meringue bombs. Boom. <laughs> we're going to start with equal part vodka. <laughs> and now cream de cacao. And this is just going to have a little bit of that chocolate <laughs> flavor in there. Cream de mint. And I bet that's why it's called a grasshopper, because it's green. Because it's green! <laughs> Look at the brains on you, I Lucy. I know, I know. Shake your cocktail. <laughs> as soon as I can't feel my hand anymore, it's done. Oh, that's so cold. <laughs> Look at that lovely little minty color. Delicious. Float a mint leaf in there. Look at that. <laughs> there you go, Lucy. Thank you. Cheers. Cheers. That is minty fresh. Oh, and it's got a kick. <laughs> We're going to make little mini meringue bombs. Oh. <laughs> well, I'm just going to get started on the star of the meringue. All right. Separate these egg whites. We need four. Add a cup of sugar. Mm -hmm. Yum. Just a pinch of cream of tartar. Tartar. <laughs> and this is just to help stabilize the egg whites so it can help form those nice stiff peaks. Move this over to our double boiler. We're just going to whisk this to dissolve the sugar. And we're not trying to scramble or cook the eggs. We just want to bring them up to temperature. Do this for about two to three minutes. And put this back in our mixer. Put this on high. What I love about this is you can actually walk away while it beats. <laughs> you got about 10 minutes. Store bought sponge cakes. They've got these little indentions, perfect for filling with some really lovely strawberry preserves. Add ah, about a tablespoon or so to the bottom of each of these. You got that done? I did. That looks beautiful. <laughs> We're just going to add a half a teaspoon of vanilla. Incorporate the chocolate. Strawberry and chocolate, classic combination. Just going to put a few sprinkles. It's going to make everybody kind of bite in and go, oh, a little surprise on the inside. My chocolate edition is chocolate ice cream with chocolate brownie bites. We're just going to scoop out six, since we have a little six, six little things. Yes. And we're just going to want to refreeze this again and make sure it stays really hard. Because we're going to have to torch our meringue, so mm -hmm. we don't want our ice cream to melt. <laughs> so the harder it can be, the better. Put this back in the freezer. Looky, looky, looky. Boop, boop, boop. Nice and hard. So we got to move quickly. This is melting rapidly. Just top each one of these. The ice cream is a perfect size scoop. We're just going to meringue this. Very simple to do. Let me just show you real quick. <laughs> Please do. Great <laughs> stiff peaks on the meringue. Woo! I'm good at making stiff peaks. And look at that. You're just going to go. You are good at making stiff peaks. And don't be shy with the meringue. No, That's it's the, the best stuff. part. Here we go. I feel so powerful with the torch. Look at that. All you're trying to do is get all of those sugars. They're going to caramelize in there. It's a lot like marshmallow, toasting a marshmallow or like a s'more. Can't help myself. Ah! You can't do anything like I'll you burn you. I will burn you. <laughs> Look how cute that is. Cut it and eat. Mmm. Mmm. Mm, 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 mm. Good job. That is rich. <laughs> mm. Ain't no so doubt rich. Finger looking good for sure. All the recipes are below, guys. Thank you so much for stopping by. And we love Lucy. Bye. Mm. We need a heart. Can we Bye. do that?